We're back with Christopher Hitchens and Peter Beinard to talk politics here and Hillary Clinton. You know, both you guys support the war in Iraq, right? Both yep. you guys. Yes. Now, let me ask you this. Fair enough. We argued well, about that. It's, a, it's an, in, an intervention in Iraq. Well, that's I, great. Just like the incursion in Cambodia. I think I recanted, but I'm. Uh, okay, but, uh, anyway. recanted is, is good, but it's not effective. Let me ask you this uh, about it's this effective. question. When I first heard about this thing, and I've been of two minds about this Hillary appointment for Secretary of State, I thought one thing he might be up to is really Machiavellian politics. Not the old thing, keep him in a tent instead of the outside mm -hmm. tent. But he may have to cut a deal in the Middle East, You're bringing in Syria, cutting some deal where Syria separates itself strategically from Iran, uh, perhaps Syria separates itself from terrorism, which would be the deal with Israel, giving back the goal line, but getting something like 67, some kind of big deal that makes history and good for everybody. But the only way to do that, if you're going to be a little bit tough on Israel, is to have somebody a little bit to your right. You start with this, Christopher, you really know the region. Somebody a little bit to your right, a notch or two to your right on the issue of Middle East politics. Hillary would give him cover in such a deal. Is that the Machiavellian peace here? Well, now you make me think about it. I mean, her speeches in favor of the intervention in Iraq were pretty good because she had followed what her husband and Vice President Gore had been saying and doing about Iraq. She knew that the case that they, that the Ba'athists were linked to Al-Qaeda, that they were uh, dicking around with weapons of mass destruction privately, and so was a very strong one, stronger than most people still believe. And her vote was a more impressive one for that reason. She's been very, 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 very uncritically pro-Israel, though, at all times. Well, as is that has, helpful course, to him? Uh, that pro Israeli. Does that help him cut a deal that's never going to make everybody happy? We know any Middle East deal is unpleasant, to put it lightly. It's also a security threat. Every deal where you give an inch of territory away makes your security that much more different. In fact, your existence more perilous. So, does he help her in that regard if that's what he intends to do, make history in the Middle East? Yeah, is that the plan? I, think so. I don't know what the plan could be, Peter, if it's not that. Why else I, put her aboard? Well, I, I, actually, I actually think that, that he, he may well think that she's a, a very smart, tough, competent person. But I also agree that, it, that you, you make a good point. I think it's probably less relevant with the Palestinians right now because it's simply hard to imagine a deal with Hamas. But vis-a-vis -vis Syria and Iran, well, I think there's a reasonable with point to be made. Fatah, El Fatah. I mean, well, but they don't, I mean, they're don't. I mean, they not powerful enough to make a deal with. Uh, okay. But on well, Iran you're, you're, and you're or Syria... You're making my life troubled here. I'm talking about if you can do the uh, deal, is she the deal maker? That's what I mean. And Bill Clinton I, I think, I think, I think on Iran, which is the, which is the big plan, Player here, making a deal which would change the regional calculus on Iran and, and end the standoff between the U.S. and Iran since 1979. I think you're right. I think she would help to give political cover. That's also you, that's also the reason you've had people like Dennis Ross very much in the orbit because I think yeah, there's well, a sense Dennis that he would be Ross good at negotiating the region well, and, he's a little and, tougher. and good and good at selling it back home. That's well, why I'm surprised at Hillary because you have a mixed mind here because you don't trust the Clintons but you are a bit more hawkish than the Clintons. Uh, Christopher, so I'm just wondering why it wouldn't be in your interest to see the Clintons in there because it would move Barack to the right. Maybe. Well, on the crucial issue, the thing on the crucial issue, Christopher, that we've all been afraid of for years, that, that a, a messianic regime, a fanatical regime, will get hold of apocalyptic weaponry. Yeah. We're now very close to finding out what that's going to feel like. And right. to live with a regime that even if it won't go mad and use them, will be able to use those weapons to blackmail us. Right. Now, both, both um, the senators, uh, Mrs. Clinton and uh, Senator Obama, President-elect, have said that will never happen. Right can we come back? Christopher, right. can you come back? We have to, This is too big. We have to come back and talk about this. Thank you, gentlemen. Peter Beinart and Christopher Hitchens. Thanks. We're out of time. Join us again tomorrow night at 5 and 7 Eastern for more Hardball. Countdown with Keith Oberman starts right now.